All right, John, it's time to make your compass. I printed out the free instructions. I found a fender washer the right size. I've got a push bin that I just threw on the floor. I've got some aluminum. And I went digging and digging through my stuff and I could only find one wing nut and it's way too big. So I actually had to run to the big box store. Cost me $3.75 to buy a 30 cent little wing nut and some screws to go with it. It's better be worth it, John. <laughs> Marker. So I'm not going to just copy John's video. I mean, he's got the instructions on his video and on his website. You really want to go there. Um, partly I've got a new camera and I need to make sure I'm playing with it and partly I just felt like building something and I've been wanting to make these for a while, but Here at least is an interesting story. You see this bit of aluminum. It's got these holes and these weird notches in it Well, my day job is in IT and this is the back plate of a 20 ish year old cartridge tape a couple of years ago, we were cleaning things up and the boss is like, throw out all those cartridge tapes. And I looked at them and I'm like, hey, that's aluminum. So I took a bunch of them apart and I took the aluminum home. And finally, I'm going to do something with it. But there are a bunch of holes that I have to work my way around. Yeah, that'll do. So future art here, let me just sort of jump in and interrupt the video. Try not to get too hung up on the fact that I'm making this out of aluminum. You don't have to. I mean, follow the plans. I mean, they're dead easy. Uh, any thin piece of wood will do. I'm using aluminum. I mean, the first time John built it when he designed this, he used wood. He built it a second time out of aluminum, but you don't have to. Okay, so on with the build. I used a nail set to mark the centers of this, and I'm going to drill out the center holes now. I'm using a 964 bit. John used a 1 8 but uh, just has to match whatever the diameter of the uh, screw that you're using for the center. And then I just changed to the 16th drill bit which is, is so tiny. These things will break if you look at them wrong. Where the push pin is going to go. Last hole on this side, right there. That one's for the pencil, and John had to ream his out. Do I got to ream it out? No, I don't really think I need to. We'll try it without reaming it. Next, counterbore, counterbore, hang on. Counterbore. John was using a Forstner bit on his because he did not have a countersunk bit. I have a countersunk tip on my screw that I'm using. So I'm going to use a counterbore. Like many things in woodworking, there's more than one way to do it. So this is the bottom, so it's going on this side. Drop our screw in and that is nice and flush. All right, now I think we can cut it out. So you can cut this quite simply on your hacksaw if you want to. Um, I'm gonna use my bandsaw because again, aluminum is very soft metal and it should cut. And to clean them up, I'm going to use my disc sander to round them down to the lines.
a little bit of hand sanding to finish off some of the rough edges. And we're into the home stretch. Uh, there we go. Just way too much. Stir, stir, stir. A little bit around the screw. That gets put in there. And let's try to find a place to leave that set. And the same with the pin. You can use any color push pin you want. Red, green, blue. I chose a clear one. Okay. So if you're familiar with John's project, you wonder what the heck is Art doing? Well, I'm never going to own a red Lamborghini or a Corvette. But I can own red tools. We'll let that dry. So it's winter time, so I just leave them underneath the heating register here overnight so that the paint can nicely dry. I don't really know why I put tape around the push pin, but I did. But I did put paint there. So two pieces go together. Oh yes, it's properly tightened at this time. Smaller. Nice thing about using a push pin is you can just stuff it right in there. I need a sharper pencil. Okay, there we go. So there you have it, my John Heist Design Compact Compass made from recycled aluminum and unrecycled spray paint. Just because I like red. So there you go. If you want a better tutorial, head on over to John Heiss's channel and check out his video and his website article. Have some fun making one in the shop.